the naked mole rat. This small mammal, which exists in a small area of East Africa only, is often placed at the top of the most ugly mammals on Earth. Yet this little creature is an amazing testimony to the design of an almighty creator with its complex social order and strange biology. Naked mole rats live together in colonies of 20 to 300 individuals, which very much resemble many insect colonies, such as the honeybee. Being almost hairless and nearly completely blind, their lives are totally confined to the underground world, with a few exceptions. Each colony is dominated by a queen who keeps one to three breeding males, while all other offspring are assigned worker roles within the colony. This may be as a soldier and defender, a housekeeper, a digger of tunnels, a gatherer of food, or rearer of infants. The underground tunnel system in which the mole rats live is a complex series of tunnels and chambers which all have different purposes. The queen herself will make a journey around the entire tunnel system each day to inspect its condition and greet her workers, reminding them, of course, of who is queen. This is a journey which may be as long as three to five kilometers. If the queen should die, then another female, formerly a worker, will develop sexually and take over the role. Her spine will elongate and her weight will increase so that she can bear litters of pups. Should more than one female develop sexually, the queens will fight to the death, or the second will leave the colony to start a new one of her own. However, there are more amazing facts which leave us in awe. How does a worker mole rat develop the maternal instincts to care for offspring? Believe it or not, the queen's dung is kept in a special chamber, and those assigned to nursing duties eat some of it regularly. The queen's dung contains enough East Radiol to influence these workers to adopt maternal behaviors, such as grooming, nursing, and responding to pups' cries. How do mole rats survive the low oxygen supplies in their narrow tunnel structures underground? Naked mole rats can survive carbon dioxide concentrations as high as 80%. They do this by switching to a metabolism fueled by fructose rather than glucose. This fuel system is usually found only in plants and it's amazing to find it in a mammal. Supply of fructose prevents brain damage. By comparison, if a human brain is deprived of glucose, there's no compensating mechanism and we will die. The naked mole rat is almost completely insensitive to pain. It lacks the neurotransmitter substance P, which normally sends pain signals to the brain. What purpose does a lack of pain serve in mole rats? Firstly, the narrow tunnels require the animals to crawl over and past one another. With their naked skin, we would normally expect this to be a sensitive process. However, it is not for the naked mole rat. Secondly, breathing in high concentrations of carbon dioxide is a painful process in human beings. Mole rats also do not feel itchy. Naked mole rats have an amazing ability to thermoregulate, the effect of which is more like cold-blooded animals than warm. They use two strategies to maintain warmth. One is to slow their heartbeat down, plus their breathing and metabolism. If required, they can become almost comatose to prevent brain damage. The second strategy they use is mass huddling to maintain heat. Mole rats do not develop cancer if they stay underground in their low oxygen tunnels. This is due to the interaction between the P16 gene and the P27 gene. The combined action of these two genes prevents uncontrolled cell proliferation, which is one of the hallmarks of cancer. Mole rats can live up to 30 years, which is five times longer than other small mammals, such as mice. 
During the vast majority of this time, they do not show any signs of aging, as other mammals do. The incredibly long front teeth of the mole rat are mostly used for digging. They can close their lips behind these teeth, which prevents them getting mouthfuls of sand when they dig. Naked mole rats can move backwards at the same rate as they can move forwards. Next time, before you see a picture of these tiny creatures and feel repulsed, remember just how many incredibly complex inbuilt design mechanisms show the undoubted intelligent design behind them.